Hi, Sue Richards here. Welcome to Day 9 of First United Methodist Church of Portsmouth, New Hampshire's daily video update and devotion. Who would have thought that there would be so many blessings during this challenging time? Who would have thought that in this modern day and age, at least some of this pandemic could have been prevented by getting back to basics? Who would have thought that we would need to be reminded how to wash our hands properly, stay home when you or someone in your family is sick, cough or sneeze into your inner elbow, keep things clean, drink plenty of water, eat healthy, spend time with your family, get outside into nature, help others, look for the good, try something new, and rely on God. During this temporary time of social distancing, you can still stay connected with your loved ones near and far. You can still phone a friend, send emails, and use social media to see and hear people. You can still make someone laugh or have a good laugh yourself. These times are allowing some wonderful things to happen. Families are spending more time together, there's a respite from the hectic pace of getting kids ready for school in the morning and later in the afternoon grabbing something quick to eat as you rush off getting them to their after school activities. There's time to sit down together for meals, listen to children read, watch them learn through homeschooling, go for walks outside and to play. Of course, you don't have to have kids at home to eat healthy read, learn something new, go outside or play. Spring is the perfect time to take a walk out into your little piece of God's glorious creation. The sun is shining, birds are singing, plants are poking their heads up through the ground, and you can get a breath of fresh air. I find going for a walk fills me with a sense of well-being, positivity, and happiness. Creative ideas just pop into my head, and I get a lot of steps in. I have seen people be calm, considerate, and caring to others. During my most recent grocery shopping trip, people were smiling, friendly, and courteous. Of course, you're more likely to see this when you act like this to others. Here are just a few examples of people helping people. At least one professional athlete has donated a huge amount of money to help during this time. A construction company donated some of their masks to a hospital. A restaurant donated cases of fresh produce to a food pantry. School buses are being used to deliver food to children in need. A technology company on peas donated $100,000 to gather and to end 68 hours of hunger. A Dover restaurant is selling eggs at their cost to help their food suppliers. And I just realized all but one example is about food. Guess you know what's on my mind. Yesterday, I was reminded how powerful it is to receive a phone call. One of our longtime church friends called to see if our daughter Nicole was okay over in Denmark where she lives. I must confess that I often dread making phone calls because I don't wanna bother people. Listening to my wonderful husband David talk with our church friend made me think about this a little differently. The call only lasted a few minutes, but the feeling of love remains. So perhaps this can help me move past my feelings of insecurity to reach out and touch someone safely. This is a great time to try something new. These daily messages were created to keep our congregants and community feel connected and close. However, as I have watched them, it's become obvious that each person has put thought and preparation into them and shows that, as we Methodists believe, we are all ministers to each other. There has been such a positive response that I hope these messages continue after we resume our weekly worship services and coffee hour. This would give more of our people the opportunity to share a small piece of themselves, different from regular church activities. Who knows, this could become a healthy and positive pandemic that the world needs. 
In addition to prayers, scripture, and our pastor's sermon, music is an important part of our worship service. Sometimes snippets of songs pop into my head. Only a few words, mind you, but they play over and over. Recently, it was part of a song I sang in our choir. In times like these, we need Jesus, Jesus. In your darkest hour, his light shines through. Or words, something like that. Of course, we need Jesus and God all the time, don't we? And now, getting back to basics. Let us unite in praying the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Make it a wonderful day. Stay safe and healthy. Try something new. Brighten someone's day. And most important of all, rely on God to see you through. Love and virtual hugs. <laughs>